Logie Bear has left the building, guys. It's official. Logan Sargent has been dumped by Williams. And about goddamn time. My God, I'm surprised this didn't happen before the summer break. Um, they would have saved themselves a few million quid. Um, or at least a million pounds in regards to the damage he did to that car on Saturday, which was just inexcusable. Such a poor driver error in those conditions to run over the curb and keep your foot in it while you run over the grass as well. And he didn't even look sad, did he? I know he was on the way out and he knows he's being replaced, but there was no remorse when you saw him walking back down the pit lane after that crash either, which probably also peed James Vowles off quite a bit uh, because he has had enough and Logan Sargent is out with nine races remaining in this 2024 season. And he's surprisingly being replaced by an academy driver. Yes, Franco Colapinto, who if you're unfamiliar with him, he's currently in Formula 2. I've seen a bit of him this year and he's done all right, to be fair. He's currently sixth in the championship, and he's currently got a race win under his belt. Um, and yeah, he's shown sparks of feistiness. And yeah, um, I think he sh has shown a lot more promise in his junior career than what I ever saw from Logan Sargent, and definitely did haven't seen in Formula One. I mean, Logan Sargent, a year and a half in F1 now, very fortunate to have lasted this long, in my opinion. Um, it's widely known now that they were openly courting, uh, well, openly, secretly courting Carlos Sainz and probably other um, experienced drivers uh, before the start of this season. And they couldn't get their man. So they kept Logan Sargent on a known quantity and no doubt he still had quite a bit of backing as well from a, a number of sponsors and it made sense to keep him on i still think they would have done better bringing in collar pinto or another academy driver um whoever that may be or even loaned liam lawson um uh, bring kemi antonelli on early i don't know anyone else other than logan Sargent, i think would have been better than him at the start of the year but james vows is a better man than i and he decided to put some faith in him and keep him on and all he's done is continue to cost them money um in the form of course lots of crashes um he was at the top of the standings in regards to that estimated leaderboard um of the damage um he has caused um last season i think it was around three million pounds dollars something of the like still well too high and then this season no doubt after his crash on saturday when they just chucked a load of upgrades on the williams car that seemed to be working Okay, Albon got disqualified because they failed a test and so forth, but he still looked good in race trim as well on the Sunday. Um, had a potential scoring points, and yeah, um, instead he ended up putting it in the barrier, and it's just inexcusable, absolutely inexcusable. And that has um, that's kind of James Vowles' fault, I think. To be honest, he should have been out of that seat before the summer break, and this change should have happened prior to Zandvoort. Uh, but yeah, James Vowles. Had enough, understandably, and Colapinto is um, is heading in there uh, for the remainder of the season. Now, we know that's not going to be a full-time drive because Carlos Sainz has signed for next year. Um, however, what is great about this is that there were rumours, of course, after Logan uh, crashed that car that James Vowles was seeking to replace him. He wasn't happy. Um, and there were talks of that it will be Mick Schumacher. As I've mentioned, um, Williams were the only team, or are the only team, up the grid, or in, on the grid actually, who don't have a designated reserve driver. They normally, in previous times, when they've required a reserve driver, uh, the last was, of course, the use of Nick DeVries. They've used the Mercedes reserve driver or um, academy drivers. This time around, what's great is that they've gone within their own system to give someone an opportunity in F1 who they may be potentially, uh, if Carlos Sainz wants to get out or Alex Albon has a shocker, you never know, um, they have a good um, driver waiting in the wings to step up um, after an initial six-month trial period. That's basically what this is now for Colapinto. He can't do much worse than <laughs> Logan Sargent, let's be honest. All he needs to do is not crash and he would have done better than Logan Sargent. And um, who knows? He might have an opportunity, an outside opportunity of uh, potentially scoring some points with nine races remaining. So I think it's very refreshing to see a new face on the grid next season. We've already got Ollie Behrman. 
Antonelli is imminently about to be announced. Toto basically let that slip. It's kind of the worst kept secret in F1 at the moment. He's going to be in Mercedes. Um, We've uh, now got Colapinto. So that's three young drivers who are on the grid for next season. And uh, Jack Doohan also has been announced. You could say Oscar Piastri is still a young driver as well. He is in only in his second year of F1. So that's that's great. We've nearly got well, we've got half the grid there, or nearly half the grid there, um, being young new drivers. Uh, and hopefully it's not the last of them. Of course, Colapinto won't be there for next season. We know that. But we're heading in the right direction of getting rid of the deadwood, um, like teams have to do in uh, other sports such as football, get rid of the deadwood, um, kind of drive out the 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 experienced but not good enough drivers uh, or players anymore and that's exactly what um teams are now doing they're realizing we have to look at the youth and we have to give them an opportunity because we can't let these drivers slip through the cat cracks and also it's a, a return on investment as well they spend a lot of money on their academies and what's the point of having them if you don't bring those drivers through and you just spend even more money in bringing drivers from outside your system. Um, so, I mean, Carlos Sainz is, is a great driver to sign for next year with Williams. But um, yeah, this is a step in the right direction for them and for the grid and for us fans because it's great to see youngsters come through and uh, to see new drivers in particular uh, be given an opportunity. So I'm really excited for it. I know some will be sad out there for Mick Schumacher and Liam Lawson. Well, I think Mick Schumacher... We're not sure, of course, what his situation is at Mercedes. I know he's kind of the reserve driver there, but he isn't. I'm sure if um, someone became ill out of Lewis and George, I think Antonelli would probably be put in there. Um, he's more like the sim driver now. I think his F1 opportunity, oh, he's, he's going to struggle to get back on the grid. Um, and then, of course, Liam Lawson. I think the Red Bull connection. I, I think this James Vowles was uh, not willing to... Um, deal probably with Red Bull. Um, I think Red Bull were a little bit, um, what's the right word? I think they were a little bit um, hard on the on the negotiations. I think they wanted the opportunity to maybe just grab him out of that seat whenever they wanted, potentially in the last nine races. Um, so, yeah, I I think this is good for James Vowles. He's clearly going, no, I'm my own man. I'm running this team now and I want to, go in the right direction where we pick our own drivers. They're our drivers contracted to us and not to other teams. And uh, yeah, Colapinto is a, a good step in that direction, which I think James Vowles wants to go into. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think it's uh, surprising news? I doubt anyone's going to think it's surprising news. <laughs> but um, do you think it's surprising news in Colapinto being promoted? I won't lie. I, I, I was surprised, but I'm pleasantly surprised and i'm intrigued to see how he gets on with nine races remaining so yeah always good to have young blood fresh new blood on the grid and uh yeah i'm intrigued to see how him and the youngsters uh, next year get on f1 heading in the right direction let me know what you think in the comments below see you next time bye